hi guys my name is Quincy I realized that I haven't actually really introduced myself in a while not that I post on here that much I'm trying to I feel like there might be some new people and maybe I should give a little intro so to start off also this lipstick or lip gloss I didn't know it was purple when I put it on so I don't usually wear purple lip gloss it is what it is Okay, the first thing you should know about me, just as a blanket statement, is that I'm very awkward. I'm very socially bizarre. I don't know. Like, I'm getting nervous right now, and I'm just standing here by myself, so I don't know what's going on. So yeah, that's the first thing that you should know, is that I'm awkward, so if I ever do something and you're thinking that was really weird, that's fine that you think that, <laughs> because it probably was. The second thing that you should know about me is that I love pickles. I could eat pickles all day long for every single meal same thing with sushi sushi is probably my favorite food alongside with pickles okay what else just to give you a brief life story i was born and raised in southern california near laguna beach and basically my whole family's here i'm still here now in orange county had a pretty normal childhood did some sport i have a younger brother he's three years younger than me my first dog was named dixie she was a bloodhound and we had her for a little bit like maybe a year i don't really remember but then we had to send her back to the breeder because she bit our neighbor's finger off or something so i was still young so i don't really remember that much but i just remember she bit a lot of people so that was unfortunate <laughs> Yeah, since then I've had a lot of dogs. Not a lot, you know, family dogs. Now my fiance and I have a dog named Rocky. He's a chihuahua. Chihuahua. He's pretty much the handsomest dog ever. And I am engaged. I will be talking about that a lot. So if you don't want to hear about it, this is not the place for you, probably. I got engaged in January. My fiance and I have been together for a little over three and a half years now. I get this question so much, so I just am going to answer it really quickly. My fiance and I met originally in high school. We also went to middle school together, but we never really knew each other. High school, we met. We did track and field together. He asked me to be his first kiss. I blocked him because I I had just had my first kiss and I thought that I was so cool. I don't know, I just was kind of creeped out honestly, but so I blocked him on everything. And then we both went our separate ways, entered separate relationships, and then we both went through breakups around the same time. And then blah, 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 life happened. We reconnected through mutual friends and the rest is history. We are leaving for Stagecoach tomorrow. Actually, we're leaving today. We're leaving for Stagecoach today in a couple hours actually. Today, I've just been doing laundry, you know, washing the sheets, taking out the trash, trying to clean up everything. Not that we're like that messy, but I just like to come home to a clean house. And now, I thought that it would be kind of fun to maybe bake some cookies. Anyway, I asked people on Instagram to ask me a question. So now I'm going to be answering some questions. Another thing that you should know about me is that I love to cook and I love to bake. Like, I just love being in the kitchen and honestly, I love to eat. I eat all day long. My whole day revolves around eating. I love to cook because I love to eat the food. <gasps> Dangerous. Okay, welcome back to the kitchen. This seems really far away, but it'll have to do. So I have made this recipe a million times. Dylan and I both do not have a sweet tooth, so we don't really eat a lot of sweets. But these cookies, for whatever reason, are so good, and we both really like them. So this is like a sweet that we eat. It's also been really hot outside, finally. I'm not complaining, but turning the oven on is probably the worst idea right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so first you preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We need butter and eggs. I almost forgot. So the butter is supposed to be softened. The recipe calls for one cup of butter softened. So I'm just gonna cheat and put this in the microwave for like 20 seconds. Okay, so the next step is you beat the butter, the white sugar and the brown sugar in a large bowl. So one time I did a live on TikTok and I was cooking dinner while 
I was doing the live and I thought that I could multitask, but I ended up starting a kitchen fire. It's just really kind of hard for me to multitask like I'm trying to do this. Okay, while I'm beating these things up, I'm gonna answer some questions. The first question that I got out of all the questions is what is your sex life like with Dylan? Nope, nope, nope. And I will not be answering that, but thank you for participating in the questionnaire. My boyfriend isn't putting in the effort like he used to. Any advice on how to make it less one-sided? I would just talk to him. At the end of the day, all that matters is that he's not putting in effort and you're clearly bothered by it. So the best thing to do would be to ask him what's up and try to talk about it. Because best case scenario is he wasn't even aware that you're feeling this way, in which case he can be more aware of it and fix it and start putting in more effort in ways that you want him to. That's another thing is if you are claiming that he doesn't put in effort you should definitely have like examples of things that you want him to improve because i think that guys are very like visual as well as very like simple honestly so if you just make it as simple as possible and you're like hey can you start calling me when you get off work just to, what well, i don't know whatever it is like have examples of things you want him to improve or whatever you just never know so i would say communicate with him the next step is to beat in eggs one at a time, then add vanilla. My next question is how many bridesmaids are you having? And this is something that is kind of up in the air. I don't know why, but I'm kind of picky or like particular about I want Dylan and I to have the same amount of bridesmaids and groomsmen. I know it doesn't matter. I know a lot of people don't care about this, but for some reason it is something that I care about. I just want the same amount. I don't know. So at first when we got engaged, Dylan wanted literally like 15 groomsmen. And I was like, I was like, Dylan, that's... <laughs> like the whole wedding that's like a lot of people and then i wanted like like five or six it's up in the air but the people who will be in the bridal party should know that they're in the bridal party okay next we're gonna stir in the vanilla and it calls for two teaspoons of vanilla extract when you were a kid did you ever like smell this and then you thought it would taste good and then you tasted it and it was really bad <laughs> my camera is literally about to die and i just started using it okay i'm gonna try to do this super super quickly so the last thing i did was i added the vanilla how do you come up with your content for tiktok and also you should make a skincare line okay wait before i do that i need organization okay Dissolve baking soda in hot water, add two batter along with salt. One teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt. There's a powder everywhere. It looks like I'm running like a cocaine. I don't even know. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for the sink to heat up or the water to heat up so that I can dissolve the baking soda in the water. In the meantime, I'm gonna answer the question. I come up with the content for my TikTok mostly when I'm just on my For You page and I hear a sound and then I like think of something that could go with the sound. Also, for those of you who don't know, I was in a really toxic relationship before Dylan. So a lot of my posts when they're bad or like about bad relationships, People always think, people either think that I'm literally making it up or that it's about Dylan. Most of the things that I post that are like bad <laughs> actually did happen, just not in this, in my current relationship. Besides that, I'll just get ideas or if I'm like doing something, I'll just film it. And starting a skincare line is something that I would love to do. Okay, so now I'm dissolving it in this. So I would love to start a skincare line, but I just feel like it's so oversaturated and I feel like so many people start skincare lines or makeup lines. And I just feel like it would be really hard to grow it and have it be successful. I don't know though, thank you for saying that. <gasps> Maybe one day. And I'm gonna add salt, salt. Woo! So these are two separate questions, but I'll answer them together. When is the wedding and what has been your favorite part of wedding planning? So our wedding, I don't wanna give the exact dates just because 
I just don't feel ready to announce it. Also, Dylan and I, I'm kind of considering changing the date to sooner, even though we already put our deposit down for a certain date. We like really want to have a baby. <laughs> we might move the date sooner, but I don't think we will. 2024, I'll just say like the second half of the year of 2024. We have a while till our wedding. And my favorite part of wedding planning is just what you would expect. Obviously all the details, all the things that you've been like thinking about since you were little and like wanting since you were little. And honestly, all I can think about when I think about our wedding, I just think about us doing our vows. And it just gets me choked up every time. I'll think about it in the middle of the day like when I'm driving and then I just start crying. This ceremony is what I'm most excited for. Okay, now I'm gonna scoop out the baking soda. I can't remember how I did this last time. I just have really poor time management. Like I should have done this days ago, but here we are and I should be packing and stuff and the oven is so hot. I feel like I'm about to pass out. The recipe says stir in flour, chocolate chips, and walnuts. I do not do the nuts because, well, I personally don't really like nuts in my cookies to begin with, but also Dylan is allergic to nuts, so we are a nut-free household. But I'm gonna add in the three cups of flour, two cups of chocolate chips. So here's our flour. One, two, three, one, two. So kind of like instead of walnuts, I do butterscotch. I'm at the end of the bag, so I'm just gonna pour whatever I have left. So if you like butterscotch, I would highly recommend. The most stressful part about wedding planning is like I haven't done it before and I haven't been to that many weddings as an adult. So, you know, it's like I can only get inspo or like get ideas from the few weddings that I've been to in my adult life, which is literally one and a half. Like I went to one full wedding and then one reception. So it's like, that's my only real inspo. And then also this is very personal to our situation, but we have some complicated family dynamics right now that are, that is something that's like personally the most stressful for me, not knowing if certain things will be fixed by then or how to move past certain things that have happened. What's better, tequila or vodka? I'm a vodka person. I can drink like a margarita, but overall I think my body does better with vodka. But you will not see me taking a shot. Now I'm about 85 years old. Just to show you what this looks like right now, this is what it looks like. What kind of wedding style do you want? I think we are aiming for very traditional, classic, simple, not necessarily minimalist, but neither of us really like a lot of foof. We just kind of want it to be like simple, traditional. My camera's gonna die again, so one sec. In the meantime, I'm gonna finish stirring this and then I'm gonna roll them up into little balls and then I might put them into the oven depending on when my camera charges. The cookies are finally done. And now I'm just gonna let them sit there and kind of cool down. I made them a little bit bigger than the recipe recommends. I just left them in a little bit longer. The recipe recommends you do like very little cookies and put them in for 10 minutes, but I did very big cookies and I left them in for about 20 minutes. I wanted to use all the cookie dough at one time and not have to do like multiple batches. So that's kind of why I did that. They smell so good. I'll answer a couple more questions and then I'm probably gonna have to get myself together. Ways to keep things exciting in your relationship. Do more activities together. Go on a walk, go on a hike, go get breakfast, go get coffee, have a picnic, go to the beach, make a puzzle or do a puzzle, read the same book together, journal together, Bible study, whatever it is that you guys like to do. You know, find an activity that you both enjoy, do more things together. Besides that, I would say surprise each other. Dylan and I, we haven't been as consistent with it recently, but we did this thing where I would plan a date night one week and then the next week he would plan a date night so we were like taking turns planning date nights for each other surprising each other and it was so fun because it was like mutual effort and just like fun for the both of us i'd recommend that i wish that you guys could smell these cookies right now they smell so good
Well, I hope you all enjoyed this fabulous, wonderful cooking video. If you make these cookies, let me know and let me know how they turn out and if you like them. And besides that, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and week ahead. And my next video will probably be a stagecoach vlog. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. All right, I love you guys. And thank you for watching. And thank you for being my internet friend. And have a great rest of your day.